Yesterday, we looked at the first part of our nine lines on the spine, points one, two, and three. Today, no surprise, four, five, and six, as I, Peter Stewart, introduce today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. Hello. So, line four. The larynx is at the top of the trachea, which runs along the same line as your spine. What you do with your head and neck alignment, therefore, has a knock-on effect on your larynx and therefore your voice. The average human head weighs around 5 kilos or 11 pounds. (laughs) Fun fact, it's more than most newborn babies. And your head is balanced on just 7 vertebrae in your neck and supported by around 20 muscles that move your head and keep that weight in balance. Moving your head sideways, back and forth, it's that nodding and shaking of your head, yeah? So it's positioned on your shoulders. Now, if you force your head back, yeah, to stand up straight, as it were, and your chin up, or, or, or maybe you slump or slouch, maybe because you're too used to looking down at a mobile phone or looking down at a laptop or something like that, then your alignment will be affected, and so too your voice. Bad posture can literally be a pain in the neck. If you're using the correct muscles to keep your head in position, and remember, your head is not naturally perched perfectly on your neck like a a toffee apple on a stick. It's slightly forward of the rest of the body, although not jutting forward with with a laptop neck. Then that's less tension that's feeding through to your neck and your larynx, which will affect your voice. So again, if you're using the correct muscles to keep your head in position, that's less tension that's feeding through to your neck and larynx, which will affect your voice. Tomorrow, more nine lines on the spine. Lines seven, eight and nine, as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) 